Stephen here again from the Wave Street team with a tutorial on how to use some of Wave's noise reduction plugins in a post production setting. This video is going to deal with cleaning up dialogue that contains too much background noise. I'll also demonstrate how you can use Z Noise to clean up the recorded room tone and further enhance your mix. The project I'm using as my source material is the campaign video for the Save the Cupids movie. If you'd like to know more about the movie and the campaign, please follow the link on screen. The first thing I'll do is play you the actress reading one of her lines without any processing. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. So as you can hear, there is some background and camera noise present. To combat this and begin cleaning up the dialogue, I've used Wave's noise suppressor as the first plug-in on the insert chain. The thin orange line represents the detected noise profile. This is the suggested setting for the plug-in. You can automatically set the faders to this setting by clicking on the box below suggest. This takes all gain faders to the suggested suppression noise curve according to the WNS noise profile detector. The bold white line represents the actual noise suppression, with the light blue line showing where my faders are set. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. You can examine the gain faders and settings I've used here to eliminate low frequency car noise, rumble and camera noise within the room. You can adjust the individual frequencies based on your own project or go with the default frequency settings as I have done here and move the faders to your taste. The threshold setting on the left controls the level at which noise suppression is activated. In this case, it's minus 11.3 dB. The smoothing section controls the release behavior of the noise suppression. The default is 50, and in this case, I have selected 25. Again, this should be adjusted as to the project and personal taste. With the WNS portion of dialogue cleanup complete, I then move on to Z noise to further increase the quality of the audio. People often comment that when Z noise is activated as an insert on a particular track in Pro Tools, that the delay compensation numbers show up in red indicating that the track is over its allotted compensation. To properly perform its task, Znoise must look ahead to analyze future audio. It manages this by delaying the source signal by 34,702 samples. The latency translates into different time delays depending on sample rate. If delay compensation is not featured as part of your preferred digital audio workstation, add at least 34,702 samples of silence at the end of the file and trim the start after the process is completed. You can also use the nudge tool in Pro Tools, select earlier and enter 34,702 samples as the value. It is also recommended that you set your host application buffer size to at least 1024 samples when using the plugin. This will prevent CPU spikes during any intense processing. It's important to note that the 16,383 sample delay compensation limit is true for Pro Tools only and not an issue in any other DAW that offers unlimited delay compensation. Therefore, there's no need for the workarounds that I explain other than to save CPU when using Logic, for instance. To be more exact, limitation in Pro Tools 9 was 4,000 samples or so, but was increased in Pro Tools 10 and 11. Pro Tools 10 and 11, in comparison, offer 16,383 samples. Therefore, in Pro Tools, you always need to use this workaround, and not only if latency compensation is off. For this project, I have created a noise profile from the room tone track provided. I selected a section of audio within the track and then clicked Learn in Z Noise. Pressing play in your DAW on a section of noise and then clicking Learn again will create the noise profile. I then save this noise profile as a preset. To avoid any delay compensation issues after creating a noise profile, I made Z Noise inactive on the room tone track. I then added an instance of Z noise to the track I wish to treat. I set the reduction to maximum and the monitor to difference, so I can only hear what's being removed. You can see the difference in output versus input by comparing the red and green lines. I adjusted the threshold until I could hear only noise and then save this as a preset. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. You can hear that as I lowered the threshold, I'm just isolating the noise to be removed. And then I save my preset. If I click audio and then toggle the effect on and off, you'll hear the difference. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. Without urgent action, 
we may even become extinct. At this stage, I also deactivated Z noise on this track. As another quick delay compensation workaround, I selected the audio segment that I wanted to treat, opened Z noise as an audio suite plugin, loaded the noise profile and preset that I had saved, and then rendered the audio. With noise reduction, EQ, and compression, the line of dialogue sounds like this. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. To further clean up the dialogue, I then use Z-Noise once more as an audio suite plugin on the room tone, from which the noise profile was originally extracted. This further eliminates any noise based on how much you'd like to remove. The original room tone sounds like this. And the processed room tone sounds like this. My reason for cleaning this up further is so that I can automate the volume of the track to fill any gaps left by dialogue edits or cleanups on the individual tracks. Z-Noise is a very powerful plugin, but you should also be aware that excessive and incorrect use can create harmful side effects such as unwanted phasing from too much reduction. Here is the original audio without any processing. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. The finished audio, with all processing, sounds like this. Without urgent action, we may even become extinct. I hope this helps you all in cleaning up the dialogue in your own projects. There are many other excellent parameters in Z-Noise and WNS that can be accessed and used in your own material. For more information and further learning, make sure to check out the manuals of each plugin.